What started as just a few farmers in 1976 has turned into 140 during peak season and 60,000 shoppers visit on market day. I'm Hava and today we're exploring the Union Square Green Market. By producing a show about the things to do in New York City, I'm making my dreams come true. I hope it inspires you to do the same, whether that means exploring New York yourself or chasing one of your other wildest dreams. This is Hava's New York. I found myself here a handful of times, mostly coincidentally just when I'm in the area. And I love farmers markets in general, but I especially love this one, which is why even though this is far from my first time, so far from my first impression, I had to come bring you here to see it. There's so many different kinds of vendors and if you catch one when they're not super busy, from my experience, they'll take the time to talk to you and everyone's really friendly here. It definitely helps break the stereotype of rude New Yorkers, which I'm gonna tell you is not really a thing anyway. Now that we have sped through the market, let's go back and see it a little more slowly. Not sheep's milk, it's a cow's milk cheese. Yeah, chego, so it's a. Uh... But you know, I kind of like that it's woman chego, like, yeah, yeah, you know, no, it's a feminine thing. power. Yeah, yeah. Our... Oh wow, this has a really strong flavor. Yeah, is that kind of up your alley? It's okay, I have to be in the mood for it. Definitely one of our best sellers, one of our award winners. More of the softer, milder. Fresh from the Dutch farm stand. It's gonna be almost similar to a Gouda. Oh, I love Gouda. Yeah. Oh yeah. This one. Yes. As a new plant mom, it is very hard to resist walking away with all of these plants, especially the succulents, because that is my current specialty. Oh man, but I can't because I'm going to the Bronx Night Market after this. So make sure you click up here to see that or subscribe to this channel if it's not available yet. Prices for the plants are really good here too for a lot of the things. Maybe not everything, but I mean, this money tree, $10. That's really good. We have vendors here from the entire tri-state area. In fact, I even saw one from all the way from Massachusetts. This behind me is Andrew's Honey, which I first discovered when I watched the Netflix show Down to Earth with Zac Efron, which I really enjoyed. And I was intrigued because I was like, how cool is that that they actually source their honey from rooftop beehives? Yes, this is a rooftop 
rooftop beekeeper here in New York City. So imagine my excitement when I stumbled into it the first time I came to the Union Square Green Market. And here I am again. At one point, I bought a jar for my mom as a gift, and of course, she let me have some, and it was delicious. She gave me a lavender sprig and it smells so good. Very strong lavender, which I love. We're tasting the hippie lemonade. Oh, wow. That is so good. Locals come here because it's their nearest farmer's market, but I'm betting a lot of tourists end up here too because it's in such a central location. This is what it looks like on a Saturday, but it's also open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday year round. In fact, in November, it turns into the Union Square Holiday Market, which that experience will be coming to the channel this year, so make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and while you're at it, just go ahead and like this video so that you will know as soon as that video hits the channel. And the next thing you'll want to do is go ahead and head over to my smorgasburg video because that is a very large food centric market too and that one is so cool and a lot of tourists don't know about it so definitely check that one out quick snappy new york city content go ahead and follow me on instagram and that's also where we can connect day to day send me a dm say hi i'd love to know who you are thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye